Hello everyone, this is David, and today I'm going to be reacting to Voice Play Still Alive. Let's get right into it. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Aided Admission Center. This was a triumph. When making a note here, a huge success. Oh. It's hard to overstate my satisfaction. But there's no sense crying over every mistake You just keep on trying till you run out of cake And the science gets done and you make a new gun For the people who are still alive I'm not even angry Oh, I'm being so sincere right now That beatbox on there, that was nice. That was nice. We're going back a little bit. Switch up. <laughs> <laughs> so this was clearly before oh, 310 see let's see if there's more hey guys thanks for watching our version of uh, still nope okay so that was voice play was still alive and that was really good that was really good anytime ellie is the lead i like it i like it i mean Let's, let's be honest, I like every song that they do, but especially when Ellie is the lead. Or Jay Nunn. But obviously this is before Jay Nunn, and um, Tony is not here, so I'm assuming this was done in the period between like uh, when uh, Tony left the group and before Jay Nunn joined the group. Because, you know, it's just the four of them. And, you know, whether there's four or five of them, they always sound great. They always sound great. And, um, you know, they had some interesting electronic effects, electronic effects or filters on um, uh, on uh, Ellie's voice there. So that was very interesting. Very interesting. Um, uh, I enjoyed that. It was just like, um, made him sound like T-Pain a little bit there. Um, you know, with the, with the auto-tune. Of course, we all know that T-Pain can sing without it. We all know T-Pain's a beast without the auto-tune, but, you know... 
He just likes using it. It's not his fault he likes using it. <laughs> that's just that's that's just what he likes. But yeah, he he can sing without auto tune. I don't know. Okay, anyways. Back to voice play. That was really good. Um, you know, Lane holding it down on the beatboxing. There was that one part like I guess in the middle of the song where like um he changed it up quite a bit and I was like, "Oh, okay. I like that." Like I, I I would attempt to, um, you know, uh, reproduce that, but I, I don't know how. <laughs> so, yeah, like, uh, my, my beatboxing is very, very, very basic. Like, super basic. About as basic as you can get. <laughs> but anyways. And Jeff, always holding down the bass line. Um, yeah, I... I'm, I like every time I see like an older video of theirs, like I still can't get used to the fact that he had such short hair. Cause like you see him now, you know, with the with that long luscious hair, and now you're just like, it's weird to see him without that. But you know, it's always cool. It's always cool to see him, regardless. And my man Earl, we miss you, buddy. We miss you. Excuse me. His um unique voice helped to fill out their sound. And now that they don't have that unique voice of his, yeah, they can still fill out the sound with like um, you know, guest with guests on the in their videos. And um, you know, they've been they've been um lately they've been bringing in like Omar, Cardona, Rachel Potter, Ariana Ariana Ari Ariano. Is that how you say your name? I only took one year of Spanish, and that was... I was... 11. So... Oh, good Lord. That was 25 years ago. Okay! <laughs> See, I took one year of Spanish 25 years ago, so I don't know how to say sp speak Spanish correctly. <laughs> or at all. <laughs> Anyways... So, yeah, they've had those guys and, um, like, Emini as well. And, like, they can all sing. They're they're all really, really good singers. And, uh, yeah. Like, um, but it's just not the same without Earl. Like, Earl has one of the most unique voices I've ever heard. And, you know, it's just different without him. I still think they should, you know, have Omar Cardona join the group. I don't know what his situation is like, but, you know, think about it, voice play. Think about it, Omar. Let's make it happen. Because I think they sound great together, but, you know, with Earl in the mix, it's it's just different in, like, a really good way. Because, like, you know, his voice, even though it's very unique, it blends very well with the others. Blends very well with the others. And, uh, still don't know the reasoning why he left the group, but, um, I'm gonna assume it's probably pretty close to the reason why Avi left Pentatonix. But, you know, yeah. Which I'm still not over. But, yeah. Like, I would assume it's for a similar reason to Avi leaving Pentatonix. The reason for Avi leaving Penny Tonics. And, um, yeah. But I still miss you, Earl. But, yeah, this was really nice. And, um, you know, they had some nice effects there. And, uh, you know, that that intro with the, with the Portal game. Which I've never actually played, by the way. But, yeah. That was very nice. And uh, I always enjoy voice play. They're very creative in the in the actual video part of, you know, their, their work. Like, um, that's one of the leg ups they have over, um, other acapella groups. And, uh, yeah. That, and, uh, you know, they're a lot more theatrical than other acapella groups can be. Don't get me wrong. Others can be, um, theatrical in different ways, but, you know, with, um, voice play they 
they have such um a different energy about them and uh you know that just adds to that just adds to everything that they do and uh yeah i really enjoyed that and uh you know me i'm always going to be be uh, reacting to voice play and um I'm hoping they come out with another new song soon. Another new cover or... Or an original of theirs would be nice too. But, you know, either way. They always do a great job. And, you know, I'm going to react to more of them as always. Alright guys, I'm going to end it here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.